All right, so once we've done the lemon peel stitch across our first row, now we need to talk about changing colors. So there's lots of ways that people change colors. Um, some people finish the prior row, tie on the next, and go across and they weave in their ends afterwards. Um, some like to carry their yarn. I don't recommend that for this pattern because when you carry the yarn, it reduces the ability for it to stretch. Um, so it's not really ideal for wearables. Um, but it's a really nice option if you're doing something that's going to be like a shelf sitter and doesn't need to stretch. It makes life so much easier. Um, I prefer to change colors and then kind of crochet over it. So I'll show you what I do. So from the previous row, our first row of lemon peel, I have my two last hooks of the color one on my hook. So I'm gonna take color two and my cat apparently, and I'm going to pull it onto my hook and pull it through just as if I was finishing that double crochet from the prior row. Now I'm going to separate out. I've got my two tails you know, one from the previous row, one from what I'm starting. I'm gonna kind of tighten everything down a little bit. Do my chain one. Now when I turn, this is going to be the wrong side of my work. So I want these tails to come towards me when I'm on the wrong side and go away from me when I'm on the right side so that when I'm done, I can literally just trim them and they are on the inside not showing. Okay, <clears throat> so once I've turned, I'm gonna go into that first stitch, which is really hard to see right here because I have those tails in the way. So I'm gonna move them just so you can see. So we're gonna single crochet into this first stitch right where we started. So I'm gonna pull the tails into my way, loop around, pull these tents so they're not in your way. I'm gonna do my single crochet in the first now we're continuing the lemon peel, so we're going to double crochet in the second, but every time you do it, you're crocheting over those tails so that they are already tied down and you don't have to go back and weave them in when you're done, which makes it so hard to finish things sometimes. Okay, so you just finish that to the end and then you would do the same from here. You would pull up your last double crochet, snip your yarn, tie on color one and you turn and go back the other way. And that starts your houndstooth design.